How's it going guys? Sanitary 103. Hope you guys are having a good day. So I want to share with you an article that I found on my newsfeed on my Facebook page and it's in regards to uh, LeBron James, the mega superstar and the NBA Finals are starting tonight. A uh, guard for the Cleveland Cavaliers and CBS News um, released this and basically someone had spray painted a racial slur on the outside gate of LeBron James's house. It's probably the N word, I assume. And he said, quote, no matter how much money you have, no matter how famous you are, no matter how many people admire you, being black in America is tough, is tough, says LeBron James. So first off, I don't claim to even remotely understand how it feels to be African-American in America. And I can't stand uh, some people who try to marginalize other people's experience when you haven't experienced it and been been, been put in their shoes but uh yeah i wanted to uh talk about this and ask you guys and gals if you've experienced uh racism at any point in your life um and if you're uh, comfortable sharing that experience leave the uh, comments or leave the comments in the comment section uh as for me, uh, nothing blatant like that. I haven't had someone write, you know, graffiti or put something on my house. Thank goodness, you know, chink, yellow skin, whatever, slanty eyed, ching chong, all that stuff. But uh, I will say uh, that I can't prove it, but I'm fairly certain because my wife felt the same way, even though we hadn't said anything. So what happened was we were, I'm not gonna name the city, but we were in a predominantly white area. And uh, there are not a lot of, there's pr pr it's pretty much white. And I wasn't dressed like a scrub. And my, my wife, we don't dress like scrubs. Yeah, when I'm doing health and fitness videos, I usually just wear a tank because it just feels more comfortable around the house. But I think I was just wearing a regular t-shirt. Uh, I might've had a hat on, I can't remember. And just wearing some flip flops a shirt and shorts and we go into this one store and my wife's just she's pretty casual she just wear jeans and a regular shirt not showing too much or whatever hair up anyway we weren't dolled up but it was just a regular saturday afternoon this was years ago maybe six seven years ago and we go into the store and the lady the lady asks the white lady asks do you you need some help and this was mainly for my wife she was just eye shopping and it was like a boutique store slash uh had some clothing i don't know the term of that maybe you females can help me but it's just one of those small stores it wasn't a full out clothing store but anyway long story short uh she she asked my wife if we needed help or if you're looking to find something in particular she's my wife said no we're just looking around and She's like, okay, so I'm just kind of tagging along on my wife on my phone. And as we're walking, I notice like, she's like not right next to us, but she kind of creeps a little bit closer. And then we walk a little bit more. And by the time we go to like every end of the store, she's like constantly, looks like she's just following us. And the store is pretty much empty. So I made the assumption that she thinks that we're stealing something now. If that's the case, if that's true, is it because we're Asian? Who knows? Maybe it's my imagination, but I go on my gut feeling, I don't think so, but maybe it's not. This is this is just a, a small example. This has nothing, this is not even cl remotely close to what LeBron James had to deal with because for all I know, I could have been Hispanic. I could have been any minority. I could have been anything but white and it's possible she could have followed us if i was african-american she might have followed us i'm korean she could have followed us she did follow us so that was one of the first times i i felt a little uh, perplexed and a little annoyed so anyway after it happened we exited the store and i looked at my wife and i i don't remember exactly what i said but i just said something like did you notice that and i purposely didn't want to give her some uh pre-thoughts before i didn't want to influence her decision what i want to see what if she had that same gut reaction and she's 
very, very uh, cognizant and aware of her surroundings. She's very in tune, much more than me. She's, she's very detail oriented. She's very meticulous. I said, did you notice that? And she said, what, the girl's kind of following us, right? And I was like, bingo. <laughs> uh, like, we didn't steal anything. I don't know what you're doing and whatever. So that was like pretty much the only thing. The one last thing I will say, and this might not be uh, specific to Asians, but just in general to minorities is sometimes I feel like in the workforce, um, other races will uh, look down upon and undermine someone's intelligence because they have an accent. I have a, I, I have a big problem with that. Uh, just because someone has an accent or doesn't speak as well English, that doesn't make you any less intelligent. Somebody like Albert Einstein, you, uh, you put him in Korea and he's got a three month, three months, three month crash course speaking Korean and he can barely speak and you don't know who, and let's say you didn't know who Albert Einstein was, you're gonna treat him like he's stupid? Absolutely not. And I feel like that happens sometimes in the workforce. I'm not to get into too much specifics, but into specifics, but uh, I do recall, you know, working for some coworkers slash managers and they would talk to other people who were highly intelligent. They had positions that require a lot of aptitude, scholastic aptitude, much more aptitude than what this person has. And they're almost talking down upon them. Like, do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand talking? It's just a really degrading, um, uh, in a degrading fashion. The last thing is, uh, some people towards Asians, they think that they can, um, step on us whether it's because there's asian stereotypes that we're all nerdy we're all good at math we're timid we got glasses um i don't like that at all and i feel like sometimes people that are bigger try to use that to their advantage use that as leverage and bully their way in whether it's in a street fight confrontation um pushing people around at bars just kind of just a certain body language uh, just acting really machismo because they think that Asians are not going to speak up. Uh, I'm going to pick my battles. I'm not a tough guy. I don't claim to be. I don't want to fight, but I don't like that at all. And that that's pretty much uh, the gist of it. So uh, that is it. Uh, that's it for this video. Once again, uh, if you've experienced anything uh, severe or even something that's a little bit, a little bit spotty, a little shoddy, uh, a little bit questionable, I love to hear your uh, experience with this and like lebron james says he has a ton of money he's one of the most powerful uh superstars in sports but he's not immune to racism you know it's very unfortunate that we still have to deal with this in today's society but it still exists so that's it guys i'll catch you in the next video bye this is sex is absolute bs considering this steve harvey guy he's got like a milk dud head and I'm sorry, he's, he's not, he's not very.